What is going on everyone? My name is Eskimo and welcome back to my Let's Play of Skyrim as Kevin the Khajiit. This is episode number 19 and honestly I have a few things to talk to you guys about today and I didn't mean to do the sexy little dance as Kevin and I, I know you, some of you may have liked that. But um, what I want to talk to you guys about is my upload schedule from Skyrim. Like I noticed a lot of you guys are like Eskimo, when are you uploading Skyrim and all that which you know I really appreciate that you guys are so supportive of the series that you guys want to see it so much. And, uh, you know, th that definitely does mean a lot to me. So, uh, I'm letting you guys know what I'm going to be uploading Skyrim from now on. Basically, Saturday and Sunday, so two days in a row, I'm going to be uploading Skyrim. Now, uh, if my channel were to ever become, like, more popular for, say, Skyrim or something like that, I would definitely love to upload it a whole lot more. Don't get me wrong, I absolutely love playing Skyrim more than anything. Way more than Minecraft, way more than Gears of War or anything else that I upload on my channel. I definitely love Skyrim. I'm an, I'm an Elder Scrolls fanboy through and through, and I definitely love to um, play it a whole lot more. So let's see. Let's go over here. Okay, you won't trigger pressure plates. That's not so bad. Let's see what's up here. Sprinting while sneaking. Okay. Walking and running does not affect detection. That's not so bad. You know, uh, there's definitely a whole lot of stuff that I could do. What I think I'm going to do is check out archery, see how close I am to something like that. So let's see. Um, yeah, I'm pretty close. Yeah, I'm pretty close to something else whenever it comes to archery. I think for right now, I'm going to go for one-handed. So one-handed weapons do 20% more damage. The reason why I'm doing that is because my uh, blade is kind of weak right now. My dagger, you know, I think I have a perk where... Um, if I sneak up on somebody and I hit them with a dagger, I'll do like 10 times damage if I'm sneaking or something like that. But I'm also going to be using my bow a whole lot more. So here we go with the Orcish Bow of Arcing. Uh, so I'm going to play a bit stealthy in this Dweamer Dungeon, or Dwemer Dungeon, depending on which Elder Scrolls game you may have played first. It was pronounced Dweamer and Morrowind. You know, some people are always like, Eskimo, you scumbag, you're not pronouncing it right. So I'm like, calm down, man. That's how I learned it. <laughs> but, you know, like I said, I'm going to be uploading Skyrim from now on on Saturday and Sunday. And if my channel were to someday become more popular for Skyrim, I would just upload Elder Scrolls games nonstop. Like, uh, you know, just if you guys want that to happen, just tell your friends about the series. You know, somebody who likes Skyrim, tell them about the series. You know, tell them about my channel, stuff like that. And if they check it out, well, that really helps me out a lot now. Uh... Like I said, uh, I, I, or no, I haven't said it. I haven't played Skyrim in about a week now, so I don't know exactly where I'm at. I do know that I'm in the Dweamer ruin underneath Markarth. I know that. It's just that uh, I was kind of confused. Like, which way do I go? Do I go down the stairs or do I go up the stairs to where I was? But I assumed it was this way since there were some bodies laying on the stairs and there's some bodies over there, like, saying, hey, Eskimo, you've already been here, so, you know, that definitely helps me out a little bit. And, you know, I'm thinking, yeah, I'm taking that just for the sake of being able to sell it later. And honestly, um, I'm, I thought this was a chest or something like that. I don't know exactly where I'm at. Uh, it looks like there's water down there, and I could probably jump inside of the water and live yeah let's do that oh oh that was definitely really tense i really hate jumping from heights especially in skyrim or any other scrolls game because i just feel it in my gut it's like <gasps> I, re I really get freaked out about it for absolutely no reason but you know that's that's how i am yeah <laughs> Also, I'm going to be doing a new Let's Play on a game, uh, Two Worlds 2. Some of you may have played it. Some of you may not have liked it. or I don't know. If you've liked it, you know, I'm bringing it to my channel. If you don't like it or you haven't even seen it, you should definitely check it out. You know, a lot of people played Two Worlds 1 because uh, it, it was like a game that came out after Oblivion. Everybody was like, this is Oblivion with uh, multiplayer, you know. That was like one of the major complaints about Elder Scrolls whenever it came out. A lot of people want multiplayer for it. You know, I, I can't see Elder Scrolls ever being a multiplayer game other than the Elder Scrolls Online, but, you know, that's not even really made by 
Bethesda, I, th I think it's like made by another company. I don't know exactly who, but I think they're still owned by the people who own Bethesda Zenimax. I'm just not entirely sure, you know. I hope Bethesda's working on Fallout 4. I definitely love the Fallout series. Um, but yeah, Two Worlds 2. Uh, a lot of people didn't pick up Two Worlds 2 based on the fact that Two Worlds 1 was such a flop and it was like so laggy. The multiplayer was so laggy. Everybody was like, Ugh, I don't want to play this. But check that spider out. Slow down, Spider-Man. Here we go. All right, there we go. Killed him, the Falmer. I think I got his attention, but a lot of people didn't give Two Worlds 2 a chance. But, you know, it's definitely a game that's not as polished as Skyrim. And trust me, Skyrim, I know, has loads of bugs and stuff like that. It's definitely not as polished as Skyrim. I think the developers of Two Worlds 2, um, I think they might be from Germany, Topware Interactive. I'm not entirely sure on that, but regardless of... Where they are from, uh, I actually like the game, and I wanted to do a Let's Play of it. Obviously, I may not finish it. It's going to be a test Let's Play, because I want to bring more RPG games to my channels, like uh, Dark Souls, maybe, Dragon Age Origins, Mass Effect, you know, pretty much, you know, well, Two Worlds 2, obviously, but a bunch of... RPG games, I want to bring it to my channel and see if my channel become can become more of a RPG Let's Play channel. I would really love that. I, I would definitely love that more than anything because, well, check this out. Let's Falmer Skulker. I don't know entirely what's going on right here. I have a feeling as soon as I open up this chest or take what's inside of it, those things are going to hop out and kill me. So, oh, Eerie. Here's notes, okay. Er, yeah, I think it's eerie. How foolish to move through this place so quickly. It's taken me only a few hours to crack the back gate. Maybe I'll donate a cup or two, but Craig says he knows some private buyers who will pay handsomely for working a working trinket. There has to be one in here, at least somewhere. You know, I added on the at least somewhere part, but the side doors are all locked, but this chest should have been, or should have one or two things of value. When I go out, I'm definitely going to be buying myself a castle. You know, he's kind of kind of optimistic, but there we go. Uh, he's dead. He's got some small antlers. Don't know what he's doing with those small antlers down here. But, you know, that's, that's entirely up to him. That's his own thing. Look, yep, these things are coming to life. Like, I thought they would crap, 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 crap. Definitely did not want that to happen. Mm-hmm. Did not want that to happen, but here we go. Um, oh, no. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> yeah, did not want that to happen. Uh, I don't think I could win this fight if I f fought with, like, brute force or anything like that. Maybe, you know, it's, it, uh, no, no way I'm going to win this. All right, um, try, just, actually, you know, I might win, I might win. I, I backed myself into a corner, which is a really bad idea. But let's see, let's heal myself. You know, I, I can, I can win this battle, you know. It's not too bad. I'm really worried about that Centurion, or Centaurian, with that huge dwarven mech over there. <laughs> that's the only way I can really describe it. It's right there. I'm really scared that that's going to come alive and attack me, but thankfully only those two attacked me, and these are kind of, well, they're not moving. But that thing, you know, right now that thing would destroy me. But let's check down here. Can I open this up? Okay, uh, I can't open it up, but I can unlock it, so that's definitely something worth doing. Okay, here's where the tumbler is, so I'm going to go over here and try to try to unlock it. So I think, let's move a little bit to the left. Let's move a bit more to the left. No, it's, it's a bit more to the right, like towards this little hinge over here, not this hinge, this little bolt. So let's see. There we go. We got it. And there we go for lock picking in Skyrim. You know, <laughs> it's obviously going to be a few years until the next Elder Scrolls uh, single player game like Skyrim, the Elder Scrolls 6. Actually, no, yeah, this is number 5. I had to think for a second. I was like, wait a second, Morrowind was number 3, Oblivion was number 4, and Skyrim. What? Am I really here? Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay, uh, 
Right. <laughs> uh, not entirely understanding where I was or anything like that, you know. Uh, I went somewhere that I definitely didn't expect to be, but I'm going to go back out this way. Hopefully I can find uh, something to do because I don't know exactly why I am in here. Oh, the armory, I've already been in here, and I hopped down from there. Okay, uh, I'm going to have to read my quest because, I'm sorry, I, I got myself backtracked for a little bit for absolutely no reason. So let's see. Let's go to my journal. Okay, here we go. I think it's hard answers. Yes, uh, here we go. Okay, so I have to gain entry to Caselmo's. Okay, this is... I think this is it. Recover Strom's journal. I think this is the one I'm supposed to be doing right now. Not uh, the other one for Kasomo. Now, that's my overall goal, but why I came in here was for him, I, th I believe. So, I have to gain entry to his museum. But to do that, I have to do something in here. So, let's figure out <laughs> what that is, you know. Um, maybe we'll go over here. It looks like this one's flooded. You know, this is one reason why I really like Dweemer Ruins, whenever they're flooded like this. They weren't like this in Morrowind. I think there may have been one or two ruin in Morrowind that was flooded. And uh, that was like a... Woo! <laughs> that was a doozy. To say the least. <laughs> and honestly, um, if you guys don't know, Morrowind's by far my favorite Elder Scrolls game of all time. I really love it. <laughs> I really do love it. I like it more than Skyrim, like it more than Oblivion. It may not be as pretty, but I think it had a much better story and is way more enjoyable. Maybe you're the same way. Maybe you haven't even played Morrowind, but you should definitely go check it out if you haven't. Because it, it's it's just so amazing. You could spend uh, about a thousand hours. Well, a, a lot of people are like, yeah, man, I've spent hundreds of hours on Skyrim, but... I spent thousands of hours on Morrowind. I'm not going to lie about that. I love that game. I, I could play it all the time. Let's check what's up here. Hmm. Kind of scared, you know. It's like, uh, where does this go? Oh, quarters. All right, so... Um, before, I didn't go to any quarters. I th yeah, before, I definitely did not go to any quarters whatsoever. So... This is all new to me. Uh, down there was the armory, right? No idea what that is exactly. I really want to find out what that is over there. No idea how to get down there. Um, maybe. Oh, that's how. Okay. And over here. Um, oh, this is going to be the exit out. And uh, that way up is how I hippity hop up over here and leave the dungeon like a quick exit. So... Um, I'm sorry if there hasn't been a whole lot of action this episode. I'm, it's really, I really should have done all this and like figured out where I'm going before the start of this episode. But you know, maybe you've enjoyed listening to me talk. <laughs> I hope so. I mean, that's maybe that's why you're watching my video. So I hope you enjoyed listening to myself talk. And I really haven't had a whole lot of chance for immersion, even though this is a hardcore let's play. So I'm sorry about that. And me talking to you guys sort of breaks the immersion. So I'm sorry about that too. So please forgive me. Please. Uh, oh, what? I'm confused. <laughs> uh, I'm definitely confused. Uh, I don't know where to go. I'm going to be honest right now. I'm lost. I've, I've been here already. I know that. Let's see. Yeah, I've definitely been here already, so... This was inside of the armory, right? Yeah, that was inside of the armory. Where does this go? Uh, see, this is... Like, you see the bodies laying like this, so I came this way, right? So this is obviously the right way I'm supposed to go. The bodies are laying like this, so... I go over here, I suppose? Maybe? Hmm... Once again, oh, there's a Falmer right there. I, I guess we'll go kill him. You know, he's he's not dead. I, I, I guess I haven't been here. 
Oh, wow, look at that. 15 times damage. Ooh. That, that's, that's like a magic ruin rune on the floor. Yep. Knew that. I saw that coming. What? Come on, man. Do more damage than that, please. <laughs> I'm definitely not well equipped to come to this dungeon. That's for sure. <laughs> but here we go. Right. Okay, there we go. Um... Just, I'm just healing up right now. Just playing it safe right now, mainly. Because that could be really bad. Okay. I have not been here. So this is where I needed to go, right? So uh, I got Strom's journal. So I apparently got Craig's journal somehow. Or Staub's. Or, I, I don't even know. Maybe that's something I have to do now. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. This game's confusing me right now. But here is Strom's journal. I've decided to remain behind with one of our guards and further document the living area we've stumbled across now. I write this to the best of my ability, but due to the sudden disappearance of the Dwimmer, Dwimmer, scumbag Eskimo, you know, it, it real, most people pronounce it Dwimmer, but I, I call it Dwimmer, but, um... It is almost impossible to say for certain what anything is. The tree. Okay, this is a new entry, I suppose, because the tree is like at the top of the document. But by the nod, I cannot determine the purpose of this tree. It has appeared to be from the area around White Run, which is the tree we just saw a bit earlier. But why and how it got here is beyond me. Now, I think it may have been a gift from the surface world, but based on the lavish surroundings, it could also be a display of power. Now, I'll check around the living areas nearby for any additional clues. Now, this is the living area. So, this is about the living areas. Okay, so I'm sort of understanding this journal right now. Um, upon further investigation of the area, it looks like this structure houses two clans or families. I can think of no other reason for this particular layout. Perhaps this group oversaw the particular portion of the city? Maybe? Um... I'll have to compare notes from the other areas as we uncover more of the city. Hopefully some of those will contain more in-depth clues. But it appears a smaller ring collapsed on itself, which I believe was the place we saw just about a minute ago or something like that. But, um... And maybe the when the expedition returns, we can dig out an entrance. Now, Falmer have begun to creep back for, uh, into this area of the ruins. And it's a good thing that I am not alone here. So we've managed to block off some of the areas we sp suspect the farmer were coming through. And I'm going to need a drink of water in just a few seconds. But they've still somehow managed to get th or get into us somehow. Together we are able to hold them back. But how long until Stobbin and the rest return? So um, definitely interesting. So... Oh, oh, this could have been the wing he was talking about, too. But this is the tree in the lavish surroundings now. I don't necessarily consider a bowl lavish. <laughs> you know, it's just dirt and, like, a thing of flowers. But, yeah, that tree definitely looks like it may have come from the White Run area. Hmm. But this is the only place I really haven't gone. But I'm going to get a drink of water right now, guys, and continue the video. All right, there we go. <laughs> Um, let's see. I'm just playing it safe right now, you know. I kind of want to bring back out my bow. Yeah, I really want to bring it back out my bow. So there we go. Mm. Some chairs inside of here. Just a small little table. Kevin is definitely on the prowl for something, you know. Kevin is not well equipped to come here, but he's, he's taking it as a challenge. So apparently I've already been here, so... Either that or they were already dead and so oh I, I guess somebody else killed them so there is a corpse from a Imperial Legion member so this looks like a torture rack I'd, I'm kind of confused this lever I don't know what it activates Whew. but uh, I don't necessarily know if I want to find out you know this is uh oh uh oh Oh, what the? Ugh. That. <laughs> uh, I, I, I could have gone 
without knowing that <laughs> that was like that. You know, um, forget that. <laughs> All right, I'm out. So let's see, where do I go? I'm just so confused. I okay, I've been that way, and this is the way I need to go. Okay, so I'm punching people with my bow, or punching the air. Let's go this way right now. You know, I I could definitely kill a couple episodes in this. Let's do my ruin, I suppose. I don't know. Let's go this way. Hmm. Yep, this is definitely where I need to go. So, let's get out of here. So, um... Do I explore more of the Dwemer Ruin? I don't know. It's Do I explore more of it, or do I leave? So, I'm not entirely sure. Okay, I'm assuming I explore more of it. So, let's see right over here. That's the armory. What? And over here is gain entry to Consumo's museum now okay that's where I need to go um either that or right there either one of them could work so honestly I'm just gonna play it safe and well I wasn't gonna go this way but it looks like I might just go this way for absolutely no reason so let's see We'll go down over here, not that way, <laughs> but over here. So let's see, um, what am I doing right now? I'm tr well, I'm kind of confused. It's like, how do I get up? Well, okay, I could have just gone down there, but uh, how do I get up there? I mean, I could jump down from the higher ledge. I, I know for a fact I could do that. It's just a matter of I might die, so I don't want to do that. But this is honestly times whenever the quest marker comes and helps. So I'm using that to my advantage right now. So definitely using it to my advantage and trying to figure out, I guess, how to get out of here. So let's see. Uh, where do we go? Do we go up here? I guess so. I mean, or I don't really know. I mean, <laughs> let's find out. Right. Okay, this is where I go. Right. So, um, please lead me the right way, <laughs> cause I'm kind of confused right now. It's like, where do I go? <laughs> what? Okay, I swear I came out that before and it led me right there. I'm, I'm, I'm confused, but let's read Craig's journal right now, guys. So let's see. This is Craig. So I knew it. All right, I knew if we dig deep enough, we'd eventually hit some fresh ruins. Markarth, a city built upon a city. From early pieces recovered, we've determined that the name of the city is Nuashtianzel. But past that, we have very little info. We've been given an escort through, though, and tomorrow we, sh we will delve into the city proper. Now, it has only been a day, and I already missed my desk and chair. Now, I thought it would be a little more fun to explore, but so far it's been fighting spiders and getting to view an occasional rubble. Pile. <laughs> rubble. Pile. <laughs> Hopefully we get to the main ruins soon so we can set up a camp and I can start cataloging some of the items I've been able to find now. Crag, your voice is really difficult to do so I'm just going to talk normally but... We found the armory, armory earlier and Arius stayed behind to find a way into the main vault. Now if anyone can open up the locks it's definitely him. We've kept going and setting up settled up for the night since the guards say it will be easy to defend now I've put up a few ruins just in case now I definitely ran into one of those ruins so Craig you I hate you uh oh I, d I don't want none of that uh this corpse of this Imperial Legion member gonna throw it off the edge yep he he's gone uh these potatoes you know that reminds me I need to eat so it's uh Get away from the dead body so we can eat. <laughs> it's kind of making me lose my appetite. Okay, so here we go up here. 
So this is yet another place I need to be going into. So <laughs> there's definitely a lot of places I can go. So let's see right now. Let's eat. And I think I'm going to call it an episode, guys. So I've actually recorded a lot right now. So let's see. Ale, bread, baked potatoes, apple pie. Don't know why I ate the pie just yet. Cheese wedge and chicken breast. So I ate the pie. I had dessert first, scumbag Eskimo. But yeah, guys, I'm going to be calling it an episode right now. I know it's been a bit of a... Why can't I... What the heck? Why can't, why can't I get in front of my character? Um, yeah, <laughs> it's been a bit of a weird episode so far. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed it. And hopefully you come around for number 20. No, number 20, we'll be trying to get into the museum... And also finishing off this Dwimmer Ruin now. I'm sorry for the amount of backtracking, but maybe you've enjoyed listening to me talk. But yeah, guys, I'm an Eskimo. I love you all. Also, remember to be sure to tell your friends about this series, your friends about my channel, stuff like that. Because I would really love for my channel to become, like, Skyrim popular or something like that. Or Skyrim become a mainstay on my channel. But yeah, guys, I'm an Eskimo. I love you all, and I shall see you all next time.